Well, g'day folks, it's Patrick here. Well, I'm going to do some delicious meatball slider sandwich things. Um, uh, because I'm going to try and copy something that uh, uh, lands over at Sleeper Barbecue did with these surf and turf burgers, folks. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to try and replicate them, except I'm going to use meatballs. The meatballs I'm going to use are these. They were uh, half price, or well, 40% off or something. Those things, organic beef meatballs. Oh, fancy stuff, eh? But I'm also going to try these. Future meatballs. And there's no meat in them, folks. Let's have a closer look. Right, oh, no. well, first of all, we have these ones here, these organic beef meatballs used by tomorrow. That's why they're uh, uh, cheap. And in this one, we've got, uh, well, organic beef, 83%. Looks pretty good, eh? Fermented rice. Ooh. Oh, well, just have to risk that, won't I? Anyway, here are these future meatballs. Now, I tried to, they had a sticker on there that I've removed, so I did a bit of damage, but they look absolutely delicious, don't they? Let's have a look at what's inside here. Ooh. Ooh, look at well, look, I mean, it does say on the back, uh, where is it? Used by 4th of December, which is today. So they might be off, folks. Who knows? But um, it says, plant-based meatballs made with soy, pea, and chickpea. Revolutionary meatballs made from plants. That's right. Taste just like meat. Pan fry them in the usual fashion. Hey, okay, look at that. Must be fully cooked. Ooh, maybe there's, maybe there really is meat in them and they're not telling us what is in them. Oh, these stickers. Here we go, what have we got? Water, vegetable protein, concentrated soy protein, 70%. Ooh. Well, the rest of it's just nothing. So what? Where is the rest of it? Anyway, I'm going to cook these up and we're going to do a taste test, folks, and see what the difference is. The future plant-based things. And here we have the normal meatballs. These ones smell delicious. These ones don't. Anyway, let's try one. Okay, I'm going to have a palate cleanser and then try one of the normal meatballs. These normal meatballs, these cleavers meatballs, or whatever they were, organic though they may be, absolutely delicious. Melt in the mouth, soft, tender, juicy, everything you want in a meatball. Herby, perfectly seasoned, don't need to add salt, and I'm a salt freak, folks. Whereas these things, uh, it's they've sort of got the texture of meat, but there's hardly any smell to them. There's no aroma. And I've just got to taste it again. Oh. It doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like cardboard. Maybe they'd be better smothered in sauce and turn into a meatball sub sandwich or something, which I might try. But honestly, <clears throat> two bucks fifty for that. I wouldn't even pay 50 cents for that. <laughs> and it's chewy too. It's not, not even soft like a meatball should be. But anyway, folks, let's get on with making these meatball surf and turf sliders or whatever they're going to be called. Can't wait to try them. Let's go.
Okay, so here are my favorite dinner rolls from Coles. Folks, you can bake them yourself. This is gonna be fantastic because uh, they'll work ideally for these surf and turf meatball sliders. There's the meatballs, folks. I'm gonna do one of each, one of the vegan meatballs, with one with uh, the normal meatballs, plenty of sauce on them, plenty of cheese, oh yeah. And what you're gonna see shortly is my specially, here it is right now, special seafood mix, folks. Look at this, delicious, with all the sort of goodies in it that you love. Enjoy. Lance over at Sleeper Barbecue for inspiring this dish. We're going to go over and check him out, folks, and check out that video in particular. I'll leave links everywhere for it. Now, here we go. I'll try the, um, this one's the vegan one. Well, it's not vegan anymore, is it? But the vegan sausage balls or whatever they are there, and that's the normal one. I'll try the vegan one first. This is going to get messy, folks. There you go. There's nothing that's going to make that one taste any good, folks. I'm sorry. Wouldn't matter how much sauce and cheese and seafood you put on it. That's absolute crap. The taste of those fake meatballs comes through. Just, it's just, ugh. These ones are going to be good. I just know they're going to be good. That's what, <laughs> what a massive mouthful right there. <laughs> 